Hi everyone, today I'm going to be showing you how to add some nice worn edges to your meshes using geometry nodes. Most objects, especially older ones, will have rough uneven edges and adding this small detail will drastically increase the realism of your 3D models. First, select the object you'd like to add edge wear to, in my case this Greek column. Make sure your mesh has even topology and enough geometry to displace, adding a subdivision modifier if necessary. Add a geometry nodes modifier and add a new node tree. Add a set position node between the group input and output nodes. Add a noise texture node and connect the color output to a vector math node set to subtract. Set the vector to be subtracted as 0 0.5, 0 0.5, 0 0.5. This will ensure the output of the noise texture lies between minus 0 0.5 and 0 0.5. Add a normal node and multiply this by our remapped noise texture using another vector math node set to multiply. Connect the output to a third vector math node set to scale. Set the scale to 0 0.05. Connect the output to the offset input of the set position node. To summarize, we are displacing the mesh along its normals using the remapped noise texture, and we can control the strength of this effect using the scale node and the appearance using the various controls on the noise texture node. To isolate the displacement just to the edges of the mesh, we need to use the unsigned angle output of the edge angle node. The unsigned angle specifies the sharpness of each edge on the mesh, and if we visualize this using Control shift t making sure that the node wrangler add-on is enabled and connecting our geometry, we can see that the edges of the mesh are light and the flat areas are dark, and that the sharper the edge, the whiter it is. It is this attribute that we will mask our displacement with. Duplicate the scale node and connect the unsigned angle output to the scale input. We can now see that the displacement is confined to the edges of the mesh, and if we add a color ramp node before the scale input, we can control how far beyond the edges of the mesh the displacement will apply. Thanks for watching and happy rendering.